Hello Zany friends, I'm Lainey. And I am Marshall. And today's book review is all about Illumine. It was all the rage a couple years ago. This is the second time I have read it. This and is my first. Yes. And it's book one of so far three. I don't know if the third one is the true ending of it yet called the Illumine Files. I have never read the second or third one so that is going to be an adventure that we are taking now <laughs> we are going to be reading through the series together so i started reading it because it was part of a book club that i'm in so that's why we kind of took a plunge and i said marshall you will like this book and i did in the future there are space colonies there's this one colony that is a mining colony that's illegal and it gets bombed by a rival company and they are trying to survive try and get away from the site while another ship is chasing them and literally everything possible can go wrong but that's not the real story it's really a love story it really is and what's unique about this story is the way that it is told it's built from pieces of information and assembled together you have not just uh chat transcripts between characters but you also have this one guy who's a video analyst who is describing video to you you also have the random thoughts of the computer AI uh, as he's trying to ponder through the goings-on. Mm -hmm. And when you put all those together, you get a complete story. We both listened to this on audiobook. This is actually the second time I listened to it on audiobook. The first time it was audio as well. And I have to say that I feel like that is the most effective way to read this book, experience this book. But on top of that, every time I listen to it, I hear more that I missed because most of the time I'm working while yeah. I'm listening to the book. So when I go through it again, I'm like, oh, there's another part that I totally missed this time. I feel like it's a really solid story. It's a really good book. There are some twists and turns in it, some yeah. times where you think the book is about to end and it really doesn't. So I strongly suggest if you like science fiction and you like fantasy and you like romance you'll probably love this book as much as we did if you haven't already have you read it comment yeah tell me There's one thing that you and i both kind of felt like didn't quite fit mm -hmm. and that was the video analyst mm -hmm. guy he he is the only one who has kind of like a british type accent i was just more concentrating on who is this character <laughs> and what is he doing he isn't just sitting there as a description he's giving you commentary mm -hmm. on what he's seeing and he does have some color to it yeah, so, so if you're listening to it and you're like, what is this? Basically, they're to fill in the gaps of what is happening from the video files, which I didn't realize the first time I heard it, and I was like, what is this? Yeah, uh, for, yeah. for me, I felt like it was a little bit out of place, unless you thought about it as a descriptions for the blind. Um, like you might get in some movies and things like that. But anyway, I gave it four stars. I thought it was uh, really good. I gave it four stars as well. I'm just about finished with the second book and we're going to see if that holds up. And yeah, we will. Cool. Well, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.